Today, something super cool. Originally, I was planning to make some sort of reaction video to YouTuber music videos because I think it's kind of a funny topic. And I think we could actually pull some like cool little effects away from what they're doing in their videos and talk about that. But I stumbled across this effect in KSI's transforming music video. Also want to mention KSI has some really cool music videos as a whole, really good production value, but this one really stuck out to me and I'm going to show you guys how to do this within Adobe Premiere. Super easy. Let's go ahead and play this real quick. Bam. And as you can see, just this crazy face morphing effect. And they do this a lot throughout the video. Here's another example of it. I'm going to link this music video in the description so you guys can see the audio, how it matches with this and how you can create this cool effect for this type of song. But anyways, let's hop in here in Premiere and let me show you exactly how we can do it. For that, I just want to remind you guys, if you guys are new here, consider subscribing, joining the community, close to 100,000 subscribers. Super excited about that. Leave a like on this video if you do enjoy this kind of content and comment below what you'd like to see next, as well as comment if you do want to see me make that kind of reaction video to YouTube or music videos. So essentially it's just two parts. We have this overlay going on here, this kind of grunge glass thing going on, as well as the morphing in the face itself. This sort of morphing slow motion thing that's going on here kind of stuck out to me and I recognized it and finally put two and two together but essentially here's how you can create that crazy slow motion warping effect let's go ahead and right click on our clip that we want to apply this to we're gonna go to speed and duration we're gonna change the time interpolation to optical flow super important and of course you can mess around with this but what I like to do is make the speed 15% now depending on your clip this is always gonna look different the background the motion what I think looks best is when there's a lot of motion going on in the clip so I chose this in particular, a lot of moving parts, a lot of motion, especially in the face, his hand, the smoke. So that's why I chose this clip in particular. So keep that in mind when you are editing. Now, whenever we play this out normally, it's just going to look super choppy, as you guys can see. The reasoning for that is because this effect isn't rendered. Click on this clip, go up to sequence, render selection, go ahead and click that and let that play through. Hey, and it took about a minute to render that out. It is a pretty computer intensive effect. So keep that in mind. Make sure you save your project so that you don't crash anything. Let me go ahead and play this and show you the results that came out. We have some cool morphing with the hand and in the face right here. But the thing that I think really sells this effect is if you place some sort of overlay over that clip. Now, if you guys need any sort of overlays, check out my website, link down in the description, mediamonopoly.co. We have a bunch of free VHS overlays we have a bunch of green screen stuff you guys can work with so for me in particular I chose this little gif of these diamonds now once we have that overlay in there I'm gonna right click on it I'm gonna go to scale to frame size just like this then I'm gonna go up to my effect controls with my clip selected I'm gonna click this little box next to motion and then I'm just gonna scale that up a bit all right looking good only issue is we have this covering the full screen we're gonna get rid of this black background by doing some blending mode stuff but before we do that let's go ahead and hold down alt on our keyboard click and just drag these out so that we can kind of so that we can kind of get a longer loop of this going forward just like that all right that's looking good select all those right click and nest them and of course you only have to do this if you have a short clip and you kind of want to have it looped depending on the overlay that you are working with with that selected, let's go up to our opacity over here in our effect controls. And then we're going to go down to where it says blend mode. Go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to select screen. You guys can play around with this, maybe linear dodge add, depending on the look you're going for. Let's go ahead and play that. And it looks something like this looking pretty cool, but we want that crazy morphing slow motion to be affecting the clip as a whole. So let's go ahead and right click on our original footage that we added that crazy morphing effect onto. Let's go to speed duration and let's just make this normal. We're going to make the speed 100 time interpolation frame sampling. Click OK. All right, back to normal, just like that. Let's go ahead and bring back this overlay layer, play this out. Now I'm going to go ahead and click C on my keyboard, cut this little excess clip that we don't need and delete that. And here's where the magic happens. We're going to select all of these, right click them, nest them just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and do that little trick I showed you to this nested clip. And the nesting just basically means we're pre-composing both of those clips into one. Again, just like I showed you before, to apply that speed morphing transition, right click on there, speed duration, time interpolation, change that from frame sampling into optical flow. And like I said, I like working with 15%. You can mess around with the speed. I feel like anything under 15%, it gets a little bit too slow. You don't really see that kind of morphing motion. Play around with it. It's all based off your preferences. And then I don't want my computer to be running this for a super long time. So I'm just going to cut out maybe that amount. Click on this clip, sequence, render selection, and bam, there we go, guys. It only took me about 20 seconds, so it really just does depend. Um, I think for this one, I did have it on a different blending mode. So the jewels are kind of washing it away. Here's showing the original again. 
but like I said, you can do some really cool stuff with this. For that transforming music video and the song, I think this effect was perfect. If you guys are working with any clients out there that are working with a similar song, or you kind of want to add this crazy slow motion distortion, really pack a punch in your music video, this is definitely an awesome option. So like I said, guys, subscribe if you did enjoy. All relevant links in the description, including links to some of my free packs that you can get on my website. Like the video if you did enjoy, it really does help. We got some more Premiere After Effects as well as Cinema 4D tutorials coming up soon, and even some more other creative things like some vlogs, some little travel videos, stuff like that. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and supporting, and I'll see you guys later.